hey guys welcome back to the channel today i'll be doing my mom's nails and we are doing a gel overlay on her natural nails i am going to be adding a bit of the builder gel in a bottle just to kind of level out her nails but it should be very simple and easy to do and we're just going to remove that old gel set that she had on and i am using a carbide bit to do that and then after i am taking my hand file and removing any excess color that i didn't take off with the carbide bit and we're also going to shape her natural neck So after we've hand filed, I'm going to take this ball bit and go around the cuticle area just to remove any of that dead skin that is hanging off and that we don't need. Otherwise, it's going to cause us to get lifting. And I just want to make sure that I am going and cleaning all around from the side walls all around the cuticle. Now I'm just pushing back the cuticles and once we're done pushing back all the cuticles I'm removing any excess um, dead skin that's underneath or anything that I didn't take off beforehand. So just being very careful to scrape all that off shouldn't hurt at all. Once we're done, we're going to clean off everything and I'm taking some lint wipes and some alcohol to clean out all the dust. And I am using my Koopa Prep and Dehydrate and then my primer. I am using just one coat of the primer since I will be adding a coat of that base gel coat. Okay, so I'm just adding one coat. Okay, so now I'm taking the clear building gel in a bottle from Glitter Bells, and I am doing just a very thin coat. Um, it should be a little thicker than the base coat. I don't know what happened to my base coat application little clip, but anyways, you just add a small amount and then cure it for 60 seconds. And then this is just the builder gel in the bottle. And I am adding a bit, not too much, just so I kind of get it leveled out and her nails look a little more leveled, if you will. So once that I apply everything, I make sure to clean the sides so that she can pop her hand into the lamp. And then we're going to be using this Born Pretty gel color. And I'm sorry, you guys can't even see the, num the name, but I label mine with numbers. Um, this is a beautiful burgundy red. If you guys would like the name of it, please let me know in the comment section and I'll share it with you guys. And we're just going to go ahead and start with our first coat. And you're going to be very, very careful with the red. It's very pigmented, so <laughs> it is very hard to get off of your skin. Um, make sure you put thin coats and then cure it very well. I only did two coats and that was more than enough. As you can see, you can just get away with one coat, but I did two coats this time. So we're going to do that on all the nails, clean out our sides. And then before we do that, I take this little liner brush. And with the same color of the gel polish, I'm going to just go around the side walls and the cuticle area, just making sure not to touch um, that cuticle area with the big brush that comes in the gel polish. So this was something that has helped me get my application a little bit more perfect, if you will. And then right here, I'm just going to clean the sides. And then we 
put it into the lamp to cure. Now this is our second coat. And as you can tell, we only needed a very, very little amount. And that's what we did to all of the nails. Now for decoration, we're just using these gold hearts, which are so cute. And before I cured it in the lamp, I applied both of these little hearts. Okay, so after we're done curing, I'm just adding the glitter bells rubber top coat and this does have a sticky residue so you have to clean it off afterwards um i always like to do two coats of top gel that's just my preference but it's up to you and this is the outcome of the nails we love them i hope you guys like them too thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one bye